Good morning. Before we formally begin our session, may I seek your approval for the session to be recorded for documentation purposes? Great. Thank you. Now, let's formally begin our session with the acknowledgement of country. The University of Queensland acknowledges the traditional owners and their custodianship of the land on which we meet. We pay our respects to their ancestors and their descendants who continue cultural and spiritual connections to country. We recognize their valuable contributions to Australian and global society. Let us also recognize the use of a talking stick, which is an instrument of Aboriginal democracy used by many tribes of indigenous domains. Why are we recognizing the use of the talking stick? We're recognizing the use of the talking stick because we will be using a symbolic item to represent the talking stick in most of our activities. I would like to thank you for taking part in our session on participatory approaches. We shall use appreciative inquiry as our main methodology. I chose this process because I personally would like to experience this positive approach that the literatures claim to be a pathway to extraordinary performance. And I would like you to join me in this journey. To be fully engaged in AI, it is imperative that we explore the what, the why, and the how of appreciative inquiry. Let me begin with the source of the name. AI is a combination of two active verbs. Appreciate, which means the act of recognizing the best in people or the world around us, affirming the past and present strengths, successes, and potentials, and inquire, which means the act of exploration and discovery, to ask questions, to be open in seeing new potentials and possibilities. Indeed, AI is a very powerful name. But let us go a little more deeper and understand its essence. You know, appreciative inquiry is a strength-based positive approach to leadership development and organizational change. It is based on the assumption that questions and dialogues about strengths, dreams, and successes are transformational. AI may be used by teams, organizations, communities, and the society to resolve problems and also for individual self-discovery. Let me share you a brief history of the approach. The notion of appreciative inquiry traces its roots back to the 80s when David Cooper Ryder and Suresh Srivastava challenged the traditional approach to problem solving in the organizational setting. Cooper Ryder and Srivastava confronted the ingrained perspective of fixing what's wrong. It's a deficit based approach, and they proposed what is called a strength based or affirmative approach, which rests in the assumption that each of us, we have a positive core of strengths. Let me further unpack the methodology and look at the how of AI. AI goes through four phases, from discovery, dream, design, destiny, or simply referred to as the 4D model. You will, however, commonly see a fifth step added, the define phase. This relates simply to what David Cooper Ryder describes as selecting an affirmative topic. An affirmative topic, in turn, is a focus of the intervention. The defined phase is an important part of determining how the following 4D phases will flow. The focus of the discovery phase is to search for and identify what gives the organization or the person a certain degree of energy, vibrance, or life. This is where past successes are discussed and explored. The goal is to discover what has enabled the organization or the individual in the past. Now, the dream phase focuses on imagining potential positive futures for yourself or for the organization. The goal, to unlock our creativity to be able to construct a vision and possibilities. In the design phase, the focus now shifts to creating concrete initiatives based on the possibilities generated in the dream phase. The goal, to reach a smart action plan that will bring the dream to life. The focus of the final phase, the destiny phase, is to refine the action plans constructed in the defined phase. 
The goal is to further concretize the action plans by initiating individual commitment. So that completes the what, the who, the why, and how of AI. It is an iterative process of continual improvement. In our session today, we intend to accomplish the following. First, to lead us to explore the possibilities that AI can do in creating change through dialogue and generative storytelling. To discover our own leadership through storytelling that centers on our successes. To develop our confidence using the structured approach of AI for our community engagements in the future. And initiates us to identify opportunities that will design our respective projects or initiative to which we are willing to commit. Now, before we go further, are there any questions or clarification? Okay, if there's none, let me present to you the flow of our session today. First, we will have our mindset check-in to open our session as a group. Next, we will go through the 4D cycle of appreciative inquiry, discovery, dreaming, designing, and destiny. We shall have small group interactions and big group conversations through storytelling. Our session today is designed to be an hour and 30 minutes, plus or minus 15 minutes. Now, let us settle in again. Please occupy a chair and form a circle. This next warm-up activity will set our mind to positive and optimistic thoughts. Take a deep breath and look back on the best thing that happened to you so far today. Top of mind, nothing serious. Each one is given one minute to share. Okay, so now we're ready to begin our journey and step into the discovery phase. We will apply AI for self-discovery and our focus is you. Yes, you, you heard me right. You will have the opportunity to further discover yourself using the AI methodology. Our affirmative topic, which will be the center of our intervention is finding my inspiration in engaging with people. We will divide the group into two small groups of four. One will go with Jorge and the other group will go with Tari. At this phase, you will search and identify what gives you the inspiration to engage with people. The goal is to enhance on what has enabled you. Reflect on your time when you had the most engaging interaction with someone you would like to connect with. Select one high point, a time when you felt most alive, most engaged, most happy, a time when you felt you were making a difference and doing creative, useful, meaningful work. What was it about you that felt good? Who else was involved? What did you feel you achieved? And then you describe the story with your small group. As a group, you will identify compelling themes that emerge from your colleagues' stories. Decide what you care about and where you're, what are you curious about. Choose someone from your group to share his or her story and the compelling themes that emerge from your sharing. We will use the, stock, the talking stick to ensure respect during the conversation. The person holding the stick is the only one designated to have the right to speak and all others must listen quietly with respect. Each one is given two minutes to share his or her story. You will have three quality minutes to organize your thoughts before the storytelling begins. I'll see you all back again in our big group conversation. Welcome back as a big group. We will allot 10 minutes for our conversation. We shall hear from the representative of each group a story that was shared. And from the story, we shall identify the strengths and capabilities related to our affirmative topic. I will allot 3 minutes for each presenter. Say it very briefly and I shall take note of the themes that emerge from the stories that were told. I'll put them on the whiteboard for our reference later during our discussion. We're now ready to build individual capacity to bring our dream to life. What should be? At this phase, you are to identify small steps to bigger steps that you can start doing to put in specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, 
time-bound initiatives or programs that will move you toward a sense of inspiration and engagement and make your dream come to life. You're given 10 minutes to design your action plans and put them in writing. Develop a transition action plan for yourself and be guided by the following. An immediate term, which will be for the next two months, medium term, six months to eight months, next year and beyond. You will indicate the what, the actionable steps, the how, the who, and the when. Subsequently, you will look for a partner from your small group and articulate your plans. This way, we can learn from one another as we pick up ideas from our peers and we'll allot two minutes each for sharing. We shall now move from our design phase and put things into practical use. The destiny phase, innovating what will be. You may ask yourself the following guide questions to help you concretize your plans. One, how will you know you've moved the transition and made the transition successfully? Second, what key achievements, initiatives, or relationships you prepared to be measured on? By whom and by when? We're giving you 10 minutes to create your commitment for implementation plan. After you have completed your implementation plan, I encourage you to meet again with your accountability partner and develop an agreed commitment in writing that you will intentionally be partners to support one another until all your identified action plans that each of you designed have been completed. Once you have made your commitments, I invite you to the big circle for our closing. See you! Okay, so, I'm filtered because I always try to be unfiltered. I hate putting on a fake kind of personality or anything. It's, such, it's impossible for me and I hate when other people do it and I can see it happening. So unfiltered is really important to me. The fact that I just found that in the magazine is amazing. <laughs> um, beach because every time I go to the beach, it's like, it's like my therapy. I rejuvenate at the beach. So I can have like the worst week ever and if I go to the beach at the end of the week, it's like I'm refreshed for the next week. Uh, food, obviously, because I love food. It's I feel like, especially with community, like definitely everyone connects around food, kind of like how we're doing before. Same with this picture. And yeah, this is kind of about being in nature again with that one. And music as well, because music is really important to me too. Like, music makes me happy. Like, I definitely start my best days dancing mm -hmm. in the mirror. With yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's all. Thank you. Okay, so I have some pictures here. I just did one fire to represent the warmth and the welcome, Aww. you know, like the sense of welcoming in the group. And then also a kid with a calf um, to show like joy and happiness. People bonding together over nature. And this one is a bit unique because this kid is like hanging on the branch while the, I think his sister and maybe his mom is just like floating above so i want to say that this kid is um embracing the unknown mm -hmm. hey. and the adventure and also the swiss army knife <laughs> because i think when we're engaging with people we need to be we need to be like a swiss army we need to <laughs> yeah we need to uh, we need to attack listen to them no 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 <laughs> it's not no, a <laughs> But we need to listen at the same time. We also need to speak and respond at the same time. We also need to be at the moment, like being present. So yeah, it's like an all-in-one tool. And yeah, closer than you think. Um, actually, I want to represent how people, sometimes when we see stranger, actually has more similarity mm -hmm. as we are than we are thinking. So yeah, closer than you think. Oh, thank hey. you. For hey. But, you know, we can make it work. So, I thought the assignment was to look at your future after this project, but I think now we can look. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like what um, Jorge was talking about, like meeting somewhere where you're like comfortable, where you're like sharing your beer, where you can down a cold, coldie at one of the country pubs. I put lots of colours because colours are, yeah, colours are really nice and I feel like you need to be full of colourful people to create a community community engagement. I put this because I'm 
I would consider myself like a like a person going with the flow and usually like by myself <laughs> nice. in the middle. Um, so I think that's something we need to stray away from with community development. Like, yes, um, things what you need to know, knowing what you need to know before the thing. Taking a drive, I feel, is like a, a calming thing for me, which I is where I relate with people a lot while we're driving. Plants, nature, everyone loves plants. Mm -hmm. Plants makes it look more alive, and cows and because. That I saw my future with cows and horses. <laughs> I don't know how to relate that with community development. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm super <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking, just as I was standing there, I was thinking maybe like nature is our, is like the ultimate facilitator. It's our environment, but it also allows us to like we we are connected to the environment. Like we grow food but also like the animal kingdom is a part, it's like part of the ecosystem. And then in that sense, maybe we're all connected in a spiritual way in the ecosystem. And something about connection here, <laughs> how, we're, how, how we're all connected with, in all our different colors, in all our different diversity. <laughs> and that diversity is what powers the whole ecosystem. Because it's wow. the sunlight. Wow. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's not some idea. So. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to represent quite a few things here. But we've got, um, I wanted to, sh I basically envision a future where everyone has a voice. Mm -hmm. So that everyone is given space um, to be heard and listened to. Um, I think. It's really important that we stay connected so that we have um, we connect with people in a genuine authentic way um, where there's laughter and happiness and joy um, I think animals are a great great way of making people feel safe and and that's another way we can connect and um, especially if you feel isolated or lonely or anxious um, food because we connect over food and we all come together with food with from different backgrounds, experiences, memories. So I think that's really beautiful. I was thinking markets are a great way that we can engage with others um, and also keep food localised, keep our, um, build our community and make connections that way. Um, I've got a little um, yoga position here because I think that represents gratitude, so being thankful for what we do have and our place in the world. Um, Valley of dreams, so just continuing to dream and focus on the positive things and where we can go in our life and yeah wildlife spending time in nature um got a little map here because it's like we can control the path that we want to take and we have agency in our lives to go on the journey that we want to go on so yes Um, so yeah, I like Emily. I'll start Reference. at the top. So we've got a little baby turtle, and it kind of represents new life, um, and you know the potential that people have coming into this world. Also, animals, as Emily was saying, so connecting um, with animals. And next to it, we've got old people. So like coming into life, but then growing those connections and keeping those through your life. Um, bull riding, like taking risks and opportunities and that kind of thing um, when making decisions and seeing where you want to go in life. Don't be afraid to take risks. Bucket list is like representative of having goals and striving towards those. Um, did you know? Being curious and questioning whether that's critically or just engaging with the world around you. Um, this is just a picture of nature and hopefully like striving towards keeping nature like serene and peaceful and calm and clean and healthy. Um, this represents art as like a form of connection, whether that's through like visual art or, or music or something like that. Um, blue is just a calming colour because, you know, be calm when you approach life, don't, don't need to stress. Um, so <laughs> solidarity, like working towards goals together um, and finally accomplishing those. Um, we've got food as a connection, but also like it looks like it's from like supporting local businesses and just the people around you. Um, legend, like have faith in yourself. Um, adventure here, so next to the map, just like don't be afraid to take risks and adventure and, and explore um, and live and experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, just escape the crowds, immerse yourself in nature. So just, um, you know, just be one with nature.
work with it, not against it. All right. Thank you all. And so the guitar in the middle represents like music and just expression because I probably value that to the I guess I don't know highest extent and I think if you can kind of um, let someone express themselves, like whether it's anger or sadness, just kind of let it be, it's a lot more genuine in interaction. Um, green space is well it evokes just I think a sense of calmness. So if you can have an uncomfortable conversation outside, I think it's really helpful. Um, I just have some catchphrases like love, nature, fun, engagement, action. Um, just to represent the things I think um, help draw out the best interactions. Humor, and that's what the crocodile and this things going on. See great, leave greater. I think for, well, let's have some philosophical thing about how you know we should leave the world in a better place like after we've been here that idea of what, what's the point of each interaction and what are you getting out of it so yeah I would like to thank you for your generosity your presence has made this activity indeed a very rewarding experience for me and I hope it was for you as well I wish all of us success in our pursuit and be reminded that we have each other to draw inspiration from as we face distractions and some discouragements along our journey. Again, thank you and maraming maraming salamat. Made me your experience. How was it? How was your experience? Today, yeah. oh, I loved it. It was really beautiful. It was um, very inspiring. I love listening to everybody's different thoughts. I thought you did a great job, Jerry, at like, facilitating the group. I think everyone felt really comfortable. Um, I really, yeah, I found it great. I thought it was a really good reflecting experience and really made me think and um, think about how I can be better at engaging with others. So yeah, it worked really well. It was very uplifting as well. So that's good. I think so do you think AI can be a, a powerful tool for you for your engagement? Yeah, definitely, future? because it's very, it's based on the positives, right? So you come away feeling like, how can I um, be a better change maker? How can I make a difference? But how can I be more positive in, in my outlook in life? So I think it changes. Oh, ruptures your mindset from focusing on negatives and the deficit. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you for Angela. having me involved. It was really good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, How was it? How was your experience with AI? Great. And I think this talking stick is fantastic because I've learned a lot about like the different aspects between being the listener and being the talker and the different roles you can like different spaces you can take up within a community, within a little group. Um, and yeah, I agree with Emily Rexa when she said that uh, it's, it's like you really learn how to, <laughs> how to um, be more engaging, be more like developing, be more present. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> I thought um, the class that Jerry facilitated was really exciting, really, I think, smart in order to like figure out our own assets um, and I really liked how he broke it up into like, I guess, visual and kinesthetic parts, so I really loved the collage part and us defining our own versions of I guess, success and what that meant to us um, and I liked how he linked theory really like clearly throughout the session because it's just it didn't make it too like ominous and scary it was just like bite-sized pieces um, so overall I think I took a lot from it and it's going to retain like with me so yeah I'm really happy with that I participated thank you a good experience I was a little reluctant about the timing but it was very fun and the I, I can't believe it is like two and a half hours. <laughs> like feel it was one hour. So it was very good. And the guys who came also were very funny and, <laughs> and nice to talk. Thank you, George.